everyone welcome back to my channel i thought it'd be fun to bring you along with me for a weekly vlog spend the week with me that sort of thing i've literally just got back from university i didn't feel much of that because obviously that was my last sort of proper video um so if you want to see what i do at university go back and watch that one but i am just about to go into the house and get ready because we're going to see grease the musical in theater tonight with my family and boyfriend um so yeah i'm gonna go in get ready and then i'll bring you along for the evening with me Color my hair and I'm gonna do my makeup now um, so the first thing I do is moisturize my skin the first one I use is the body shop vitamin C moisturizer this is really good it's sort of like a gel consistency so it sinks in really quickly and I use their CeraVe I think it's called moisturizing cream um, I've got really dry skin sort of on my cheeks here so this is really good for the sort of really dry skin areas and then just before I put my makeup on, I used the Walida Skin Food. I saw Rachel Leary use this on her channel and she really recommended it for that sort of really nice smooth face before you put your makeup on. And I say, as I've got dry skin, that's sort of what you need to even that sort of dryness out and stop it clinging to those patches. So I put that on before my makeup and that really helps. So I'm going to apply this all now quickly off camera and then I'll get back to you and start doing my makeup. So here, as you can see, I'm just about to apply the Willida Skin Food, which, as I said, is really hydrating and good for my dry skin and gives you a really nice, smooth, glowy base to apply your makeup on top of. I do use a lot of Rare Beauty products, so here I'm going in with the Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. I apply this all over my face, focusing it on the high points, and it just helps to give that glow from within look to your makeup. I then use the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation in the shade 160C, I think I have. And then I just buff this in using the brush. I love this foundation because it has a really good medium coverage but it still looks really natural on the skin. Next I go in with the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. I just apply this under my eyes and down the centre of my face in the areas that I want to highlight. Again this has really good coverage but also still looks natural on the skin. Then I used the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer in the shade Happy Soul. I think this is one of my favourite products. It applies so smooth and it just melts into your skin and looks so natural. Next is the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush in the shade Nearly Neutral. Again, this is another one of my favourite products and it really does melt into the skin but still being buildable and looking natural. Then I go in with the Rare Beauty Positive Light Liquid Luminizer in the shade Outshine. I just apply this to the high points on my cheeks just to give that extra golden glow. To finish off the base, I use the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Soft Radiant Setting Powder and then I move on to eyes. I just add a little bit of eyeshadow, then I use the Benefit Their Real Mascara and then to finish off, I use the Rare Beauty with Gratitude Jewelry Lip Balm. And here's the finished look, so now I'm going to head into London and I'll bring you along to see Grease with me.
it's the next day now and we all had such a good time at Greece last night. Unfortunately, it's finished now, so you can't go and see it, but it was honestly so, so good. And today I just got university day. So here I am in my up seminar. And for our art seminars, we actually went on a trip to the Tate Modern Gallery. So I'm just on my way there now and I'll bring you along and show you around with me. So it's actually a bit later in the week now. On Wednesday, I was just at home doing university work, which I didn't think you want to see, it's a bit boring. And then on Thursday, I just had lectures again, and you've already seen that near the start of the video, so I didn't think I'd film that. But I thought I'd pick up the camera today as we are in the Cotswolds for the night. And here we're at the Cotswolds Wildlife Park and Gardens. And yeah, here's some clips that I took whilst I was there. So I hope you enjoy. After we'd been to the wildlife park, we headed to a really cute shop called Dalesford Organic. And then we headed to Ledbury to have dinner at our favorite Italian restaurant called the Olive Tree, which honestly do the best pasta dishes. And that brings us to the end of today's video. So if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.